Hello, I'm Martine Rothblatt, creator of Geostar Satellite and Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and founder and CEO of United Therapeutics Corporation. I'm also a proud alumna of UCLA School of Law. And I'm Rachel Moran, the Dean of UCLA School of Law. I could not be more proud of UCLA School of Law's long commitment to the transgender community, from cutting edge research of the Williams Institute to inspiring alumna like Martine, who is our commencement speaker this year. The Williams Institute has done incredible work for the transgender community. Their research has helped to provide workplace protections from discrimination on the basis of gender identity to over 16 million Americans. They have shown that prohibiting discrimination against transgendered people is not only the right thing to do, it's also good for the business bottom line. A welcome and inclusive environment means that employers can attract and retain the top talent. Williams Institute research also connects everyone to the incredible challenges faced by the transgender community. When I read that one in five children in foster care are LGBT and those who are gender non-conforming have the hardest time finding forever homes, these are children who deserve our attention and support. When Williams Institute research shows that transgender Latinas in Los Angeles face incredibly high rates of harassment and violence from law enforcement officers, we know the challenges facing these women need to be addressed. But too often, Williams Institute reports have to include a footnote saying that because no large population-based surveys ask questions about gender identity, they are unable to include data about transgendered people. Without this data, we don't have the tools needed to get laws passed and programs implemented to support our community. This year, the Williams Institute is changing all that. Researchers have added questions about gender identity to the California Health Interview Survey, called CHIS, a survey of over 50,000 households, including 2,000 youth. Adding gender identity questions to CHIS will immediately provide a rich set of data about how many transgender people there are, our health challenges, and access to care, and our experiences of violence and discrimination. It will start to replace assumption and myths with facts, facts that courts and legislatures and governors and presidents can use to make real change. Adding gender identity questions to CHIS will also pave the way for other surveys including large federal surveys to ask questions that allow transgender people to identify themselves. So far, the people in charge of those surveys are saying gender identity questions have never been asked. After CHIS, they just can't say that anymore. This is what Tea Dance on June 7th in LA is all about. It's about raising the money and the awareness to change forever the landscape of data collection about transgender people. So please come to Tea Dance on June 7th at the Edison in downtown Los Angeles. It's a great cause and a great event from a great law school, and we would love to see you there.